Hello guys, Absolute Daughters here coming to you with another One Piece video, and in today's One Piece video I have for you Bello Betty versus Purple Luffy. And it looks like at the start of the game his life was out of order so we just made sure it was in the correct one. And I'm going to go ahead and start off by playing the Bello Betty Searcher and adding a Kara suit to my hand. Alright, Luffy then goes ahead and drops the turn, goes to 2 Don. And let's see what he chooses to do with that 2 Don. It seems he has no turn 1 play, so he goes ahead and passes. We go back to my turn, play a Bello Betty again. Looking at the top 5 cards, adding a Morle, I think that is, to my hand. And then we go ahead and swing 7 into the Luffy's life. He chooses to take it but he hit the wrong one he needed to take the top life there and then we go ahead and pass and he goes in and gets two don takes a life to go ahead and get an additional don putting him on five don now then he looks like he's gonna rest all five playing a <laughs> magellan to go ahead and get rid of one don and then we go ahead and go up to four and he passes after that of course and not swinging with the luffy trying to play around triggers we go ahead and play karasu to go ahead and decrease the luffy by one k power then we discard a Limbo to go ahead and increase Bello Betty's and uh, Karasu. And he's going to go ahead and 2k counter two of them and all of them. He's 2k counters every single swing because the Luffy was on 4k's and we had three fives going right into the Luffy there. Okay. So what's the Luffy going to do on this turn? He's going to swing six into a Bello Betty just so I, like, removing the... The characters in Bello Betty is a very good play. So he does remove both of the Bello Betty, swinging with the Luffy and the Magellan. Taking away my characters, stopping me from being able to get those free swings. And then he plays Queen, getting rid of a Don, drawing two and trashing one. Then passes turn. Okay, we go ahead and restand our leader. And we swing five into life. Okay, he does go ahead and block. What are we going to do next then? Looks like I'm just debating on the line of play that I want to do. Because we could technically try to remove the queen. Which wouldn't be a bad choice whatsoever. Uh, but we could also go ahead and try to play a four cost and then swing with the Karasu. Okay, so we rest four. Play Karasu again. Okay, if we're going to play the Karasu then it would probably be better to decrease the queen and then play the well, Karasu and then decrease the queen but we're gonna go ahead and also play Koala which decreased the queen and then just swing an 8k into the queen which should be I think on 2k power because we decreased it with both the Karasu and the Koala okay so he's gonna swing 6 into the Karasu we do counter that then he swings 7 and we just let it die okay he goes ahead and plays Kid after that as well and then it comes to our turn where we're on 8 Don I believe it's 8 Don then looks like we're just thinking about how we want to play it we've got a lot of Don to utilize here we have tons of options we go ahead and play Sanji for 4 Don okay and then it looks like we're debating what we want to do with the last 4 Don potentially putting it on like the Karasu or putting it on lead to go ahead and try and swing so we're going to go ahead and swing 6 into the Magellan. Okay. Does he let it die? That's the question. He does let it die. Then we go ahead and get rid of 2 Don because the Magellan's ability and we rest free to go ahead and play the Morle. Okay. So I'm just trying to build up my board at this point. I'm on 4 life so I don't have to be too scared of anything he can do. Okay. So... What is the Luffy going to do? Like, he's got 9 Don to play with. He can technically go up to 10. He's going to rest 5 to play another Kid. Interesting. And it looks like he's just debating if he wants to do anything else. Possibly putting 4 Don onto the Luffy. Now he's going to rest 2. Okay. Going ahead and Sheep's Horning. Okay, getting rid of a Don and then getting two because of the kid's ability and resting my Karasu. That's actually really good because it means that you can go ahead and get rid of the Karasu, not having to worry. And you could also attack with the kid as well, so I didn't block the Sanji because of that. Okay, interesting. Right, so we have two cards in hand, nine Don to play, sorry, eight Don to play with because of obviously the Magellan got rid of two last turn. It looks like we're going to swing nine. Okay, and he does choose to take the nine. Then we've got four Don left, which we're going to rest for to go ahead and play Lindbergh, and we pass. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. 
If we get a koala, that limbo can now kill a kid blocker, which is very nice. Alright. But where are we going to go from here? Because he does have a lot of cards in hand, and he does have 10 Don. So he does have, like, a lot of options on where he could go with this. But as long as he's not swinging, I think we are in a good position. So I think it's fine. But he does play a Magellan, which is going to get rid of a Don each. And then he gets one back with, well, two back with the both the kids' abilities. Because they're both mandatory. Plays another Magellan. But he doesn't get any Don back because obviously they're both triggered. Okay. Building, building up a pretty good board here. Double Magellan, double Kid with two life left. And then he's going to swing into life, which we do choose to take. And then we go back up to eight Don. Always staying around that number eight at this point. And then we go ahead and use Bello Bay's ability, increasing the Koala, Lindbergh, and Morley. Okay. And it looks like I'm debating on how I want to split up Don. So we're going to go ahead and swing eight into life. Okay. Does he counter it? Does he block it? He blocks it. Okay. Then we swing nine into life. Which gets blocked as well. And it looks like he's thinking of countering. No, he's just going to let the kid die. Then we swing another nine because he was increased. He does take the life. And then we swing nine one more time. Okay, and does he choose to counter this out, or does he choose to let it happen? He chooses to counter this one. Okay, counters up to 10, and then passes turn with one Don, well, with one life left. Right, so I think at this turn he's got kind of got to try and remove my characters here. Like, a 9-drop Kaido would be very good here, just because it means that he removes basically two characters, and he has all the swings with the Magellans and stuff. He could also try to set up more blockers, which wouldn't be a terrible idea, because it gives him more chances to survive later on in the game. But he's going to go ahead and swing 6 into the Koala. Okay. Uh, it looks like he is debating though. Where does he go from here? But he's going to swing... Is that 8? I think that's 8. Okay, he swings 8 into the Morley. Let's it die. Okay. Then swings 8 into the Lindbergh, would be my guess. And I choose to counter it. Okay, he does play a 5 cost kid as well and then passes the turn. So he set up a blocker. He does have a decent number of cards in hand. Okay. And we're going to swing 8 into life, probably. He does choose to block. Okay. Do we do anything else? Because we still got 3 life left. Like, 3 life left, no cards in hand, which is a little unfortunate. But we're going to swing 8 into the Magellan. Oh no, we have 1 card in hand from the looks of it. Okay. Let's the Magellan die. I lose two Don, and then we're going to swing nine into life, and he does take it. Okay, so he's got no life left. The Magellan and the Luffy. Okay. Does he have any other way to play the game? Like, set up some blockers, and no, he just chooses a scoop. He did have two nine-cost Kaido in hand, though, and it seems I had two triggers left, which would have been very unfortunate for him, but nonetheless, like... He had the double Kaido. I'm surprised he didn't play it, though. But nonetheless, guys, I hope you did enjoy that game. It was a very interesting game to see Bello Betty versus Luffy. Especially seeing as Luffy was taking an approach where he's not swinging into my life. So I like he's trying to avert blockers, which was actually kind of cool to see. But nonetheless, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Absolute Doorless, signing out. Later, all.